So welcome back to another Clo3D tutorial and in this video we will be looking at how to create a quick 360 animation from Clo3D to Blender. This method is not a turntable method because um, camera, if you are um, animating in turntables, the camera rotates 360 but then you want the clothes to rotate 360 and the camera to be stable, you get. So, and you can do that only in Blender. So, what you need to do is just export your file in either OBJ or glb or gltb any of the format that you feel is okay for you then we'll move to blender so this is blender here and next thing is to import our design so i'm going to import my file as obj yeah so i'll import one of these design okay so these are our design here so what you need to do now is to create an empty mostly that's just the best option so create an empty so shift a and empty use this um, plain axis empty drag it up yeah so and um, scale it down with bit. so what we'll do here is to link everything together to the empty I think this is what I'll do so this is where you do everything here yeah? since you cannot click on the O OBJ lines so and um, click on the denim to hold on shift sorry I'm coming let me do it properly here yeah. so hold on this yes hold on it then come here hold on shift click on this the name then click on the empty click on ctrl p you get and click on keep transform so now that everything has been linked to the empty so you can do anything you want when you drag see it moves with it with the lines those obj's are the stitches you get so sometimes it makes it more hard or more technical to adjust the object you get so but now you can easily animate the object using your location or rotation so the next thing you need to do now is to um create a 360 animation which you can do that on click on n here to bring this drop by here so we'll be only focusing on the z axis here for the 360 rotation so and this is zero degree so you can just um click on high yeah it has keyframed it so when you move to you can drag this playback option i'm coming maybe you want it to rotate um 360 to the 100 frame then you can click on 360 then click on high sorry the control yeah enter sorry and click on i so that's it so this is it but the pace of 360 animation is not um linear it's not so it's kind of fast slow in the beginning fast in between and kind of slow at the end so if you want to maintain the same pace all you need to do is click on t on your keyboard make sure your mouse is on this um timeline click on t and click on linear then your animation will be able to maintain the same pace throughout the animation yeah so as you can see that's just it so you can play with the t there are other options the bounce yeah the elastic depending on your choice so this is just how to create a 360 animation from clo 3d to blender then you can just set your camera click on shift a set your camera yes then bring it up sorry G Z and G Y. Sorry, let me see this. I'll come in. So I have to create two bars. Yes. So let me just set this one on camera, and this one is here. So G Z. No, sorry. So this is it here so let's play back you can set your c this is it 
so this is just how to create a 360 animation and your camera is static instead of the turntable version on Clotilde 3D so thank you for watching this video on Clotilde 3D to Blender tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tips on Clotilde 3D to Blender animation